Hello everyone, welcome back if you've been here before. If not, glad to have you. We just got through moving. We've moved up here in the enclosed section of this pole barn. And if we could have just come with ourselves and our clothes and a few pots and pans, we'd have had it made. But we got a bunch of crap we got to bring with us. So storage is always, uh, it, it can be uh, tough sometimes on finding the right way to store your stuff and make the best use of your space. But we bought some storage shelves from either Lowe's or Home Depot. I'll try to find a picture of uh, the shelves we bought and I'll plug it in the video now. But a lot of times when you buy the shelves from the box stores, they're real flimsy and they just don't hold up that well. But I've been pleased with these. We bought two sets of them, but I've come up with a little hack when you buy them. And so I'm gonna get these things out, put them together, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, I bought two sets of these things, which they were about 12 and a half foot a piece. When, you, when I bought them, you got four of these stands and then they had four shelves for each stand. So you could have a little over six foot shelf and then a little over six foot shelf. But these things will marry up from both sides. So if you just want a solid shelf, you'd have a standard left over. So what I've done is we've turned a little over 24 feet of shelving into almost 44 feet. These things started coming out maybe a year or so ago. You can see them at Lowe's, Home Depot, but everywhere you go, they sell these. And I bought several of them when they were nine, 10 bucks. They've went up now, but they stack really well and they seal pretty well. So they're, I like these totes about as good as I've had, but I've got these set up to where we can get three high on the bottom and then two high on the top. So in these three bays, we'll be able to get 45 of those totes and store quite a bit of stuff. And then beyond that, we've been able to go back to three shelves on the end. And then we had one left over. So we just went ahead, put our freezer underneath it. We got some coolers up on top. So my wife's always on me about wanting a closet a big walk-in closet, she always says. So I'm getting ready to build her one. Stick around.
Kristen? That is not the walk-in closet of my dreams. Hey, I've never seen a walk-in closet that big. That is not a closet. Count your it's blessings. Outdoors. Count your blessings. Well, she got her walk-in closet. She ought not be able to complain now. Now, if you've not ever seen any of our videos, we're getting ready to build a house over there and we're living in the enclosed space here. So we've got to move all of our stuff up here and that's the reason we set the storage shelves up. And I'm not one for looking at clutter. And so we just hung us a curtain here. That way we would have it divided off and have a place to put our stuff back here and wouldn't have to look at it every day. So I think it'll give us adequate space to put her crap until we got a final place for it to rest. So anyway, these little storage, uh, these shelves, I will tell you, I recommend them. I've had them for about three years. A lot of times them, I just, I may have said it earlier, but them, you know, store-bought shelving's pretty rinky-dink and wobbly, but these are pretty sturdy and will hold quite a bit of weight. So until the next time, we'll catch you later.